A lot has happened since my last video I made here on Gamagama the Gamer. Specifically, my brother has died. My brother is dead. We believe it was COVID-19. He was very sick. He was quarantined in his room. My parents had no reason to believe that he was gravely ill. Like, we didn't think... Like, no one thought he was like that. Like, yeah, he, he was sick. And he said he had shortness of breath. But the doctor said, yeah, you have COVID-19. You need to quarantine. And he was almost... He was about to finish his first week of quarantine. He had a week left. And then... He died. He died in his sleep. My mom had been in Mexico for like two months, right when all this COVID shit happened. My mom ran off to Mexico and she had just gotten back. That that same night, she said goodnight to him. And then the next morning she woke up and he was dead. I went to his funeral. I couldn't go to the, uh, the mass that they had for him. And I couldn't make it to the cremation service. But my brother's dead, and I wish I would have done more to have a relationship with him. I hadn't talked to him in a really long time, and I didn't get to talk to him. Welcome back to Kane Stimulation Station. Dude, my hair looks so cool. Oh shit, okay. You can't even see my cool fucking thing in the back. I just noticed that. It's been two months since I last uploaded a video here on this channel. So first and foremost, let's catch up real quick. Thank you so much to all the people that donated to us on fucking Facebook. That was amazing. We started a fundraiser on Facebook and we got like to 50% of the goal. And so many people came out and donated and we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. It's really helping me right now during this crisis for my family. I really appreciate it other big news holy shit we're fucking pregnant like me and my girl we're gonna have a baby <laughs> it's really fucking exciting um also i got a new job like a real like a real regular job and it's been a long time since i had one but it's a big deal that i'm able to have one now and it's at home so it's fucking really cool and third covid19 is still going on hard people are fucking dying and there was a, a murder a, there's multiple there's always murders by the police they like to kill people and they killed this man named George Floyd. It sparked outrage. Y'all know about the fucking protest. We support the protest. We support the people out there in the streets doing what they can. Those are the real freedom fighters, the people that are willing to put their lives in harm's way at the forefront. We should all be supporting them in any way we can. Now that we're caught up. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Look, this is our newest cat. Their name is Al. Uh, we saved him from outside. And he's been with us for like seven months, I think, about seven months. And we're worried because they have balls, and they be they be yelling a lot, like like crying, like meow, you know. I don't know. I worry maybe it's because uh, of their balls, because they're older, you know. People always talking about getting your cat's balls chopped off. <laughs> he just shook and his balls jiggled in my face. His name is Al. He's very talkative. Al, you want to say hi to everyone? Al, did you guys see that? That was great. Thank you, Al. You're the best. And we're going to do a quick little uh, test run. This is what it would be like if I had the courage to go live. I would start the video like this. Bam, what's up? Look, we're live. <laughs> and then I would like play a song, uh, a little startup song. But I think first, initially, I would just be on here right away because I don't like that waiting time. I feel like if there's people that are willing to, to watch you as soon as you go live, like the second you go live, they're there watching, and then you have to, you're putting on like a five, 10 minute wait before you start the show. Those people gotta sit there that whole time. Bro, that's, that's too much, too much to ask for, man. You know, I'd rather just start this fucking show. Bam, here we go. You know, I'll play one song. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Gama Gama the Gamer. Today, we're going to do something real fucking special. We're going to go through and check out some of my old footage, some of my new footage of me playing my literal favorite fucking game of all time. It's the only game that I consistently play every single day. That's UFC 3. <laughs> also, 
Fortnite, but also UFC 3 because I've been playing UFC 3 and UFC games before Fortnite ever came out. So at this point, I've literally played thousands and thousands of matches of UFC, hundreds of matches of UFC 3, and I've been playing for years now. So I thought, why don't we go ahead and check out some fucking footage? This will be fun to do on camera for my gaming channel since this is the biggest reason why I started a YouTube channel for gaming was because I knew that I have enough knowledge on certain games and aspect of gaming because I've been gaming for so long that I'm like, bro, <laughs> I got plenty to talk about when it comes to games. So now I'm finally going to do something that I've been wanting to do, which is show y'all some of my fucking footage, some of my fights, some of my hard work that I've been putting in over these past few years as far as gaming. <laughs> I'm being too normal. Being too shy. Fuck that. Fucking chest up. Ready? One, two, three. Hey, what's up? My name is Kane. I've been playing these UFC games for over 10 years. This footage is from a fight that I had about two months ago. It's pretty fucking cool. I haven't really watched it, uh, but I'm about to rewatch it. So, like, I've seen parts of it. I don't know. I don't remember. Every time I have a fight, I don't really think. I just react. But I've been fighting now for over 10 years in these fucking games. So, I thought, you know what? It's about time I start putting my YouTube channel to work for me with what I actually like to do, and that's play this fucking game every day all day as much as i can who wants to fight you go you guys want to fight me check out my skills in this fucking footage right now let's go that was the best intro i've ever made it wasn't that good but it was pretty good first and foremost every single time you see any of my footage when i'm playing heavyweight i'm the dude in the white shorts junior dos santos jds go check out his highlights he's a fucking heavyweight i'm fighting stipe miocic who is the current heavyweight champion in real life so in the game we're not fighting for a championship belt but I know that the people that fight with Stipe, they're usually doing it because they're up to date and they know the game or they know real life. So they want to play him in the game. So I'm thinking they might try to fight him like like the real Stipe, which is a lot of boxing. It might be some grappling. So I'm keeping that in mind. Like, OK, this dude wants to strike. I'm going to strike with him. So here we go. Because first off, I throw a leg kick, totally misses. He goes in with the with the big right. He's throwing big rights. I'm just trying to block up and just watch and wait. Little jabs, little lefts, little rights, little lefts, little rights. Elbow. Right there, I'm throwing a little wild. Boom, and I pay for it. I opened up to throw, and when I opened up, he fucking caught me with the big uppercut. Sent me fucking flat on my ass. Right there, I threw that punch, unnecessary. That kick, unnecessary. If I would have eaten that huge right he threw right there, it would have been completely my fucking fault. Right there too, I'm acting dumb. He's through, he knew he throwing those uppercuts, and I should have recognized that and not thrown those elbows when I did. So I take another uppercut. That's twice now I've been dropped, both times with an uppercut from Stipe Miocic with the right, with the right hand uppercut. Now here it goes, look. See, he's feeling, he's feeling those fucking uppercuts, so he wants to keep on those. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna pop him with the straights. I wanna keep moving, I wanna hit him with the straights and hit him with the hooks as much as I can. As soon as he starts opening up, I wanna be there to catch him with the hook. And boom, that's what happened. He's opened up with a uppercut, I hit him with the left hook, fucking dropped him. He's bleeding, he's cut, he's still trying to go with those uppercuts. At this point, I'm trying to catch him with a hook when he's trying to catch me with an uppercut. Dude, I'm telling you, when you're in there, it feels like slow motion. Like, every single time you throw something, it feels like a matter right there. I threw... Oh, fuck. I didn't even know it happened like that, dude. Oh, right there. <laughs> Damn, did you guys see that? I threw a big fucking spinning back kick. A spinning heel kick. The first time I threw it in the entire match, I threw it, landed hurt him he's rocked and before he could recover i threw a big uppercut i knocked him out with the same uppercuts that he was landing on me he dropped me twice with his right hand uppercuts i knocked him out with one of mine who's the fucking champ dude right here junior dos santos kane gama gama the gamer playing at heavyweight dude you can't fucking step to this oh my god this today is a quick 45 second clip. It's me about two months ago playing at heavyweight as Junior Dos Santos. I'm fighting Daniel Cormier. Whenever I fight Daniel Cormier, I'm always worried that they're gonna try to wrestle with me. But this dude wasn't trying to wrestle. He was just throwing lefts and rights. A lot of hooks. <laughs> um, and I guess he got just enough distance to do a head kick and it came out so fast. <laughs> that uh that was a 35 second 
knockout. I, I died. I went in <laughs> and I died. I lost. I got knocked the fuck out within 30 seconds. Uh, it feels bad, man. <laughs> Let me tell you, after playing this game for years, uh, you don't get used to it. But at the same time, it's just part of the game. It happens. You're like, all right. I used to always wait for the ending screen. Now I don't got time for that shit. I go, I rage quit real quick and go up. So it's like, they don't even get the excitement of seeing their their knockout. Uh, unfortunately, fuck them. <laughs> Uh, I was upset though, I was, I was really salty. Uh, it happened so suddenly, did you guys see that? Holy shit, let's go back, can we slow it down? Like, what the fuck even happened? If I just leave it there, this is gonna be the fastest video ever, so let's just, let's talk about it a little more, okay. So where did I fuck up? I'm playing as heavyweight. I know the power, I know the limitations of heavyweight. This is what I consistently play at, is heavyweight. So at no point did I feel in danger. I know that because I can feel it right now watching myself. There's nothing that he's landing that's got me worried. In fact, right there, I landed some good ones, but the thing is that in this game, and this is why I love this game so much, this is why I'm so excited to finally start making videos here on GamaGamaTheGamer.com about my fucking game. This is what I like to do, is what I like to play, because look at that shit. Everything was going fine. I was even feeling confident because even though he was throwing hooks, I was blocking them. And then when I started landing, so look, I started landing some straights, I landed an elbow right there, he's landed one, two, and then boom, I got some straights coming in. But that's all it took, you see that? I threw that huge left, I threw a, a spinning kick, here it comes. It wasn't a spinning kick, it was just a regular left kick. This is what fucked me up. You throw bad one time, you throw one big strike the, at, at the wrong moment, you can knock the fuck out. And this is why I love this game so much, is because the intensity level is really high. Like the anticipation of it's gonna happen at any second. It, it's at all moment, like the adrenaline goes. It's like when, when you play Fortnite and and you start you get in there and you start fighting and you got the gun and you hear him coming or when you're even when you're just looting and you're sitting there you grab materials but you never know when something's gonna happen at any second someone is gonna shoot at you and you gotta turn around and you gotta be a fucking wizard and fucking uh summon building material i don't know whatever fortnite's great anyway the point is uh you can get knocked the fuck out at any second in this goddamn game and that's why it's so fucking beautiful i got knocked out in 30 seconds because because why because i threw a bad strike i felt confident in everything that was happening but this one mistake cost me th to the extreme where I, I lost in 30 seconds I, I it took us longer to watch the fucking load up screen the little introduction with bruce buffer than it did for the fucking fight i threw this high left kick uh head kick and i i missed and he threw his own head kick and he did not miss And then if you look at the stats right there, out of the eight strikes that he landed, four of them were significant, uh, compared to only two of mine that were significant. So I mean, even though I, I wasn't in danger, I felt like I had it, I felt like I had it under control. <laughs> that, that's probably why I lost. Like I, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting the unexpected. You know, I thought I had it figured out for just that second and everything was just going fine. And I thought he had backed up at the right distance so I could throw a big head kick. But I was off, and he was fucking ready to throw his kind of kick it. As soon as he saw my foot come up, he threw his. Because that's how you gotta get the timing right in this fucking game, dude. I'm telling you, I've been playing for years. I play consistently all the time. <laughs> hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe for more videos here on Gama Gama the Gamer. My name has been Gama Gama the Gamer, <laughs> and this is my footage. Heavyweight, Junior Dos Santos. 30 second knockout on me. <laughs> Friends, family, fans, welcome back. My name is Gamagama the Gamer. This is my YouTube channel where we fight to the death with other virtual players in UFC. <laughs> UFC 3 for now, until UFC 4 comes out. It's probably going to suck though, but regardless, I digress. Listen here, this footage was not from two months ago. This footage was not from two days ago. This footage was from earlier today. Today at the 28th of June. Uh, make sure you guys go fucking subscribe to my fucking other YouTube channels because I got a bunch of them. Quick shout out to today's sponsor, canescorner.com glumwitch.com make sure you guys will check out the links in the description for our sponsors thank you so much for supporting us and what we do here fuck the police fuck the feds hey enjoy this footage this was from earlier today
by the time I upload this tomorrow, this will be from tomorrow. <laughs> I'm in the past right now. Okay, so just like every video before this, we are going to be playing today at heavyweight. We are playing as Junior Dos Santos. Come here. Where, where's the fight? Come on, what's going on? It's taking forever. I'm like, what? I got to keep talking about nothing. I want to get into the fight. <laughs> Dude, this is a 45 second clip. What the fuck happened here? Did a knockout really occur so fast? Why do I have a 45 second clip? I'm so confused. What the fuck is gonna happen? I cut this clip earlier. I'm assuming something fucking great happens here. Here we go. Okay, so dude wants to fucking touch gloves. I didn't. Oh shit, he kicked me in the fucking head. He starts going off. I remember this because I grabbed the controller because I wasn't paying attention right away. So real quick, I grabbed the controller. And try to catch him. Did do I catch him? In less than... F Dude, there's no time left before this clip is over. So I'm just trying to counter him and catch him. Oh, shit. And I fucking caught him. <laughs> hey. That's what happens. Wow, okay, so let's dissect this clip real quick. Okay, so Stipe here wants to touch gloves. And I remember this, cause like I said, it just happened earlier today. I was doing something, I was like making dinner. <laughs> so I didn't have the controller in my hand. So dude wants to touch gloves. And as I go over to the couch to grab the controller, I see that he throws a kick. Kicks me in the fucking face. So he's landed three strikes right there. One huge head kick, and then a left and a right, two hooks. Now, I've grabbed the controller, I hit that right trigger so I can block up real quick, my specialty, block up real, real quick, and now I'm ready for the incoming fight. I'm blocked up, and I'm thinking, wait for it, wait for him, you gotta catch him. Caught him with that one. Threw an uppercut, caught him. I've thrown one punch so far, and I've caught him with it. Haven't thrown anything else. Boom, right there. He throws a huge leg kick that I anticipate by being just out of range, and I throw a huge right. When that right lands, he backs up, and now his animation stance is that he's blocking up and he's off balance. So when I right after I land that huge right, I immediately go into a push kick, a, a huge push right kick, which is something that Junior Dos Santos has. Not every fighter has it, but my man Junior does. So I throw that kick, and then I immediately follow up with a left kick high kick so that I can keep that momentum going of that attack. So if we go back here and watch this combo that I do. Boom. Okay. It starts off with me landing this huge right. He's backing up. I land a huge push kick, push him further back, and then I'm trying to keep the momentum going so then I throw a huge left kick. So this entire time he's had to stay blocked up waiting to see what I'm going to do next. But in my mind, I'm anticipating, okay, what is he going to do? How is he going to react to what I'm doing? So as soon as I'm thinking he's going to try to do something right now. So as soon as he's ready, I'm ready. And I've been ready. Right there, he throws a fucking right elbow. Lands hard. You can hear that shit crunched. Fucking hit my skull really hard, dude. And now he's throwing boom, boom. He throws two left jabs. I throw, a le uh, I throw my own elbow, my left elbow, which doesn't hit him. I throw a right elbow, which, bl which he blocks. So neither of us have hit each other right now in this exchange. And then boom, he lands one right. He's throwing boom, boom. He's holding that left button and he's throwing X and Y. He's throwing the, the hooks, the left and right hook. So I'm blocking up. I let go of that block too soon, paid for it. Got popped with one of the left hooks incoming. But it's one, it's after one of the ends of his combos because he's been throwing left, right, left, right, left. One of those left, 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 lefts hit me. So I'm not too worried about it right now. At this point, I'm still chill. I'm happy. I'm chilling, bro. This is the fight game. This is what you expect. You expect high pace boom what happened to i fucking land my own so he lands his left off of that combo he lands his little fucking left hooks that he's been fucking just loving his hooks and i'm waiting and i know that he just landed one after that left and he's a little tired so i fucking throw mine right as soon as i can land my right my right hook so even though he popped me with his left hook i popped him with my right hook and boom rocked him didn't just pop him but rocked him and right now he's fucking hurt. He blocks up. He starts taking steps backwards. I want to keep the pressure on him. So I throw another push kick. The same as the one from earlier. That right push kick. 
And now I'm thinking, I don't know what he's gonna do, but I know what I'm gonna do. I just do that 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 push kick. I'm gonna immediately follow up with something that you could literally probably never do in real life, which is right after a push right kick, you immediately regain your stance and then you throw a spinning right, a spinning right kick. You throw that push kick with your right, and then you throw that same right in a spinning heel kick formation. <laughs> like like that's not something you could actually do in real life, but in the video game you can so i just threw the big strike to the body and i'm gonna follow up with a spinning big strike to the head and what happens is that he ends up throwing a big right and when he does that he immediately opens himself up to be hit by my fucking foot in the back of my foot by my heel if i can do it fast enough and i do boom he throws a big right completely misses because i'm not there i'm spinning away from it my foot fucking lands he goes down and that's all you need, man. That's all you need. <laughs> I didn't remember that that's all that happened, but I'm glad it did. And I'm even more glad that I'm finally making videos about this fucking game that I like so goddamn much. Okay, that was today's video. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you've stuck around to the end, please go make sure you check out our sponsors. Uh, they're my own, like I sponsor myself. <laughs> if you can donate, please do. Thank you so much. Go buy some of our merch. My wife has her own store, her own .com. That's Glumwitch, Glumwitch.com. Go check out my.com, Kane's Corner. Uh, if you want to support what we do, thank you so much. Please consider subscribing. Uh, more importantly, consider following me on social media. You can find all that linked in the description below. I'm very active on Facebook. I now got a Twitter. I got multiple YouTube channels. I'm everywhere and anywhere that I feel that I can contribute something to the conversation. I'm glad to finally be a part of the UFC gaming YouTube community. I've been watching for a long time and I've been playing the game for fucking years. And like I mentioned in a prior video, this is one of the main reasons why I wanted to make a YouTube channel based around gaming was because I knew that I had a lot to say about it. And I know that I really, really, really fucking like the games that I like. There's a reason why I only play two. You know, like I play two games consistently every day. That's Fortnite and UFC. So now I can go ahead and make these videos and share this footage and showcase these fights to all the people that like to watch this kind of shit. So that's fucking cool. Thanks for all the support. I'll see you all in the next video. You're fucking beautiful. See you next time. Hey, happy Pride Month. Fuck the police. Fuck the feds.